Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a brand new feature that Notion just announced recently that's going to change the way you build and organize your workspace. It is called Notion Layouts and this update lets you organize your database pages in a much cleaner way. Let me show you how. So we are currently in my personal second brain template that I personally use. So as you can see, we are here we have a projects database. So let's for example, open a certain project database. You will notice that by default, uh, in the previous version, all of the properties uh, were shown in this uh, manner right here. You can see all of the properties are in a list view and there is no certain organization and it just looks so like it takes up a lot of space and you can see we have some backend properties that we don't necessarily need to mess with a lot and it, it, they just take up space and they are not non-functional basically. So this was previously what uh, Notion properties looked like. But now you can see that we have a customized layouts button inside any database page. So all of the database pages will have this customized layout button and you can just use this button to customize how the pages inside that particular database look like. So for example, now you are currently inside my uh, projects database. So these are all of the properties that I have with, within my projects uh, database. So now let's go ahead and make it look much cleaner. Right now it looks uh, like a mess. So let's go ahead and click on this customized layout button. So this is the main new interface that we have uh, to customize our uh, database page. So as you can see, we have a new panel section. So if you have used Use Notion site pages. So this this is uh, basically like site pages, but inside uh, a database page. So uh, I, I will let you know how it works. But this is the new panel. So you can just move certain properties to this panel, and it will be hidden from that particular page. It will be hidden inside a separate panel. Uh, so you can also drag and drop. Like you can just drag and drop the properties group here. You can reorder certain properties uh, property groups here as well. You can pin uh, up to four properties underneath the heading section. So let's first of all move the properties group group, right, all of these properties here, let's move them to the panel. So we'll just simply drag them, drop them into the panel. And now you can see they are inside this panel right here. So if I just show you how this works, now you can see we don't have any properties here. We don't have any pin properties. We only have relation properties. So if you know how databases work, these are uh, these are relation properties and these are linked. These are pulling information from another database. So this project's database that we are currently in is pulling information from the task database, pulling information from agenda events, nodes, goals, people, and resources. So now uh, you will notice that there is a new button right here. If we click on view details, it opens up the side panels that we just, uh, that we were seeing in the interface uh, and you can also open the side panel from here from this new button right here this will open the side panel here so if you go ahead and click on the customize button this is the side panel that we will be seeing once we click the view details here or the new button that notion just released here now, if you notice, the side panel is like messy and it is not organized. So the first main feature of the new Notion layout is sections. So you can group certain properties into sections. So let's go ahead and distinguish the non-functioning properties and the functioning properties in this properties group. And uh, let's create, uh, create a section called back end. Done. And let's create a section called front end or functioning properties. Now we can just drag certain properties into the functioning properties. So for example, let's drag um, the status. Let's drag the timeline. Let's drag the area because these are all properties that we need to edit. Um, where is the, let's drag the property priority, the type, the client, the status. This shows us the days, the due in. Uh, and we also need to like maybe move the expenses and income. This is relation properties and these are pulling information from another database. We might need to see the task ratio as well. And this is also a relation property, but we'll just leave it in the back end. The archive button, we also don't need it. The task archive formulas, all of these, we just don't need to see any of those. We might need to see the progress as well. So now we have distinguished, we have created sections inside our property group. So now if you just click this apply to all pages, if we click view detail, now you will notice we can hide the backend properties and now it, it just looks much cleaner. We don't need to like worry about all of the backend properties and we just don't need to see them basically. And you can see all of these properties. You'll notice that we have hidden a certain property here. So we'll just go back into the customized layout and see which property we have hidden and this one. So this is, let's go ahead and see that. always show and always show. Let's apply, view detail. Now you can see the backend are just in a separate group. We don't need to worry about them. If you want to see the backend properties, you can just click here and it will just toggle it on. You'll see a drop down menu right here. These are the backend properties. So now we have organized our properties into two separate sections. So this is super cool. Now this is not, uh, this is not only available inside the side panel. So if we go into the customized layout here, so if we drag the properties group back into the page, so let me just drag them back into the page. 
the sections remain there. So you will notice the functions. These are all of the properties that need to be edited for a particular project and the backend properties. These remain separate even inside the page section. So, but we will just be customizing a bit more because it's still taking up a lot of space. So we'll just move this back into our panel right here. Now let's go ahead and organize our related properties. Uh, so now let's go ahead and see what we need to pin in our dashboard right here in our page. So we can pin up to four properties inside this heading. So we'll just click this heading here. So you can just click inside uh, any area inside this blue uh, box, just click it. You'll notice we can pin up to four properties. So let's decide which properties we need to pin. So yeah, we basically need to see the status. Um, we might need to see the timeline as well. Um, we not, might need to see this property, the day due in, because we have the timeline, so it would be much more beneficial to, to see the day status. Uh, where is it? Day status, here it is, due in certain days. We might need to see the area this project is related to as well. So we'll just unhide that as well. Looking super neat right now. Uh, the timeline, uh, it, it is taking a bit of space here inside the pin properties. So I think we'll just add that, that as a page section. So we'll just go ahead and unpin um, the timeline here. So we'll just go ahead and unpin the timeline. Here it is. Uh, we might want to add the task progress. Yeah, the, the task progress. So we can add the progress bar or we can add the task ratio. I think we'll just go ahead and add the task ratio, much more useful. Here you can see how many tasks we have done and how many we've completed, how many are left. And we might want to move the areas up to the left so we can just drag this and drop it on here. Now you can see all of the properties automatically organized. We might just want to move the states here, task ratio maybe here. Yeah, much more cleaner look. Yep, yep, awesome. So now uh, you can see, let's click apply to all pages. Now you can see it just removes all of the properties group. It just shows you the print properties and the related properties. So I'll also tell you what the relation properties are for. So let's go into view details. Uh, you can see all of the other properties here. Now, I think I also want to see the timeline here so that it, it, it tells me what's the timeline of the project, obviously. So let me just go ahead and customize the layout. So if you want to pin, uh, if you want to add more than the four pin properties here, so these four pin properties are just underneath the heading and they will stay there no matter what. And the timeline, we can add a certain property inside as page section. So let's go ahead and add the timeline property here, click on add to layout. And now you can see it is adding it as uh, a page section. So this timeline property is added as a page section. So if you click apply to all pages, you'll notice now this is a page section and this is taking up uh, the entire space right here. Uh, all right, uh, I'll quickly go ahead and remove the relation properties and add them to the property group. So to do that, we'll just click this three dot icons, add to pro property group under the functions section. Now you can see all of the related properties that we have that are pulling information from another databases are completely added to our properties group. And now you can see them right here. What you might want, you might want to add multiple uh, uh, sections here. So we, you might want to see the tasks that are related to this project. So we'll just quickly go into this task property right here, add to layout and boom, all of the tasks are shown right here. Uh, you can see all of the tasks here. You can add a new task. You can connect multiple tasks from another database as well. It's super easy. So we'll just go ahead and remove this for now. Just a minute, we'll just remove this here. Um, but for us, we have we already have a task database inside the page. So we don't want to see the twice. We don't want to see the task twice because we already have it right here inside our database page. So what we need, we might want to see a minimal view of how many tasks we have. So because this is a relation property, what happens is we have a certain function here. If we click on this three dot icon, we can see we have an advanced functionality. So we can move this up, we can move it to the panel. So if we move it to the panel, it would just create a separate section inside the panel for the task. So this will look something like this. So you'll notice this is just a separate section, separate from the properties group, and it just shows you the task related to it. But we might need to see a minimal view of the task right here. Uh, so we'll just go into the properties, uh, into the side panel, click on this task, and you can see we have an advanced functionality right here. First of all, let's move it to the page. Then we can see we have an advanced option. Because this is a relation property and it is pulling information from another database, we can just convert it to a relation group. The converting it to a relation group, what this does, it allows us to have multiple views. So we can have a minimal view and we can have a page section view. So currently you can see this is a page section view. Let's go ahead and change it to minimal. 
Now you can see it gives us much less information, but much more useful. So you can see we can see how many tasks there are inside this project. And we, we can click on this and see what the, which tasks are related to it. But we just want to have like a view of how many tasks there are because we already have a database view uh, inside this um, page uh, for tasks. Similarly, we can add multiple multiple relation groups inside here. So for example, you can see we have nodes, goals, and resources. So let's go ahead and add the goals add to layout. We can also add the resources to the layout uh, and the nodes to the layout maybe. Yep. And we can just convert all of them to relation group and they will add it to this relation group that we have already created with task. So it's super minimal add to relation group and add to relation group. Uh, we can also add a lot more here as well, but we just need to have this view right here. Um, the progress bar, we might need to see the progress bar at the top here. We can add the progress bar to the page as well. If we go ahead and add a layout here, that's awesome. Now this is a much more cleaner look to our page uh, and from a lot of unnecessary properties that we needed to see before, we just don't need to see them now. We can always access all of our properties by clicking this view detail button right here or we can just click this uh, sidebar uh, panel button at the top right corner. Clicking it, it will show you all of the other properties that you are not showing on this page. You can also always go ahead and uh, work with those as well. If we can see the client, the type of the tasks, we can also go ahead and see the backend uh, section that we have just created. It just opens up limitless possibilities uh, of organizing pages inside Notion, of organizing databases, of creating different layouts. Uh, you can add like maybe if you are using Notion AI, you can add like a summary view here. So all Notion AI takes the content of the page and adds summary function here. So you can just hide the summary inside the panel. So whenever you need it, you just click this panels button and it opens. And one awesome thing about this is if you scroll on the page, the panel stays there. So this is super awesome. If you have a long document right here, you, you just need to have a summary here. It is super uh, awesome and super useful. And there are countless use cases of this new Notion uh, layouts uh, feature. And I hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, drop down in the comments below and I will be glad to answer it. If if you want to use this template that I'm currently showing you guys inside this video, you can always grab it from the link in the description. Uh, and this is personally what I use as well. So it's super awesome. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.